hey what's up guys and welcome back to anime king and today i'm going to be giving you part 72 of what if naruto went dark get this one to 100 like as usual remember to share to all of your friends on your social media platform and if you haven't yet what are you waiting for new viewer go ahead and click that red subscribe button if it's the first time you're hearing my voice and also i have a second channel known as anime king 2 where you can enjoy lovely what if as well. So I'll be leaving a link at the top of the description for anime making too. You guys can go over and subscribe also. And I posted a new episode of Uchiha Naruto the Sage on my second channel. So go ahead and check it out. So without further ado, let's get straight into this. Start the intro. You can So to do a little of a recap, Orochimaru was reanimated as the Jutsu was being cancelled out. Yakumo put Kabuto under a Genjutsu as he break the reanimation. Orochimaru went through some hand signs and break the reanimation as well. As Obito then asked him which side is he on. He rushed to hand sign as he summoned the first Okage in the reanimation body. As he went over to the evil side, while Naruto used a seal to seal himself inside a box, well, a very large box. As all of the enemies were inside as well, Orochimaru, along with Obito, Madara, as Krama knew that Naruto wouldn't survive this, Mito and Minma also rushed inside as well, as Sakura and Sasuke also went inside. But you guys can go ahead and check out all the other episodes. If you haven't yet, switch across the playlist and let's get straight to this new episode. Naruto extended his claws as he went into a fighting stance. I will kill all of you, even if it takes sacrificing myself. Sacrificing yourself? Agsa amusing Obito. Look at who you're protecting, Naruto. Those people beyond that border fear and hate you. Since you were born, they treated you like a demon. Why fight for those who only stab you in the box? Asked Obito. As he pointed at Naruto. You hate them and you know it. You wish to be free of this corrupted world. You can join us and you will be living in a better place. Naruto stared at the man. I am not fighting for everyone. I am fighting for a wave and all the people that love me. And I will be at peace when I have your blood covered on my claws. Said a determined Naruto as his eyes glowed dangerously. Four chakra signatures landed beside Naruto and he looked to his right. Sasuke and Sakura were beside him ready to fight Sasuke Sakura what are you guys doing here Naruto asks we're not going to just let you die Sasuke said as he activate his eternal Mangeto Sharingan you are my best friend and I can't let you die we will be with you till the end Sakura said as she tied her gloves Naruto then turned to see Mito and Menma on the other side and you two he asks, We owe you for everything that we've done to you, said Mito. Thus, consider this as payment, as she unsealed her sword. Yeah, and we did told you that we were going to show you how strong we have gotten the last time we met, men must said with a smirk. Naruto shook his head as a small smile came on his face. As Tobirama landed behind Naruto, he also cancelled out the reanimation jutsu to stay in this world. I know all about the purpose of this war. I hear everything. When that Kabuto boy brought me back, I will fight with you. 
but just don't do anything stupid, he said as he crossed his arms. No problem, said Naruto. Are you ready to lose? asked Obito as he looked down on the group. Nah, only thing I am here to do is win, Naruto said. As the ground then break open in front of Naruto as Ribi came out of the ground. As Ribi went around Naruto. So, let's do this thing. Naruto flew forward towards Madara and Obito who were on top of a demonic statue head. Before he could make it to them, Hashirama and his wooden statue got in front of him. Seeing that I'll have to take you down first, said Naruto to the unresponsive Hokage. Wooden hands shot down to Naruto, but he easily dodged them all with his flight skills. He then extended his claws forward as he pushed with incredible speed. Fox slash, he shouted. As he made contact with the wooden structure, he pierced the front part of the statue going inside but he didn't make it to the other side. He was inside, it was like a small cave of wood, a very bad position for him to be in. The hole he made started to close up. Naruto flew out before he could get trapped inside. When he made it outside, he was slapped to the ground by the statue many hands. Too many hands, Naruto said as he got off the ground. Then wooden spikes rushed down towards him, ready to pierce right through him. Tame winds, Naruto said, as his winds tear up every spikes that come towards him. As they turn into splinters, Hoshirama then jumped down and landed in front of Naruto as he kicked after him attempting to hit Naruto in his stomach. Naruto caught his kick with one of his tails and raised Hoshirama in the air and slammed him down hard with force. Suddenly, spikes break out of the ground and rush towards Naruto. Naruto flew up in the air as he ran through some hand signs and a puff of smoke appeared as his side came out. As Naruto coated it with Yoke and sliced the wooden spikes down, Naruto rushed towards Hashirama. As Hashirama threw a punch towards his face, Naruto quickly dodged as he came up with a swipe. But many branches of wood came from Hashirama's sleeve, close range to Naruto's face. Naruto flew around with great speed and decided to kick him in the back, but Hashirama created a wood wall to protect him. Naruto slashed at the wall as more wooden hands rained down on him coming from the statue that Hoshirama made. Naruto saw them coming as he shouted, downhill wind current, as a wind blast came downwards and destroyed all of the hands. Time to get rid of this, Naruto said, as he created 10 clones and they all threw kunais towards the statue, as they all then disappear in a red flash, as they all build up Rasengan with wind chakra around it mixed with fire as they all slam it down crashing rusting shuriken barge they all shouted as they slammed down on the top of the statue's head the real naruto then fly up as red chains came from his back as they all surrounded him red chakra then came around him as he started to spin furiously as he came down as a drill chakra chains Drill farm, said Naruto. The chains caught fire as Naruto fly down within the explosion. As the chains hit the top of the statue, piercing right through it. When the smoke cleared, Hashirama saw that there was a huge gaping hole in the top of the statue head. As suddenly, the whole thing started to turn red. As they could hear the scream coming from within side, as it suddenly exploded flowed everywhere as Naruto was in the middle of it, fire illuminating off of him. As he then flew up in the air and looked down at Hashirama, he then looked at the statue. Well, that take care of that. Hashirama then went on a route and ran towards Naruto. Naruto readied himself when he saw Hashirama summon a large sword out of nowhere. As the both of them slammed their swords in together, 
Naruto will his sight. Naruto then uses his tail and grab Hoshirama around the midsection as Naruto pull him towards him. Naruto then covered his fist in pure red chakra as he pushed it right through Hoshirama with enough strength bursting a hole inside of him. As Naruto then pulled back his fist as he spin around his side and sliced Hoshirama right in the chest taking off one of his arm in the process. As he saw wooden spikes coming towards him again, he flipped back jumping out of the way as Hoshirama's body dropped to the ground. It then started to be reanimated as Naruto spat. Damn it, he said. That reanimation jutsu is a real problem. In a different area inside of the seal, Sasuke's eyes laid on the ex-leader of the Uchiha clan. Madara then focused on Sasuke as well. You could actually help me bring change and peace in this world, said Madara as he glared at Sasuke. I don't believe in your form of peace because it isn't peace at all. It is people trapped in a dream. A dream that is not even real. Just an illusion inside of the mind, Sasuke said. As he grabbed his twin swords that Naruto gave him a long time ago, as lightning was coursing through them. That really is a shame. For now I must kill you, said Madara as he gripped his gun bay. As the two Ochias then charged at each other. As he swung his sword, Madara flipped over and tried to hit him in the back with the gun bay. Sasuke swung around his next hand, blocking the attack with his sword. As he said, rapid lightning bursts as lightning radiated off of his sword and flew towards Madara. Madara jumped back and ran through some hand signs, fire style, flame heading dragon technique as he fired small fire head dragons towards Sasuke as they made contact with the lightning and both attacked the spurs. As the both of them rushed at each other again. In another area, Mito and Menma were facing off against Orochimaru. As he's a reanimation, he is now truly immortal and has unlimited chakra. You must be quicker than that, said Orochimaru as he dodged Mito's sword. He then ducked as a kick came to his face as Menma then jumped to Mito's side. Menma then pulled out a kunai as he pulled out a regular one and a tree from kunai. He then handed Mito another tree from kunai which she held in her hand. You know what to do, he said. As he threw the regular kunai towards Orochimaru, who dodged it with ease. He then threw the tree pump kunai as Orochimaru also dodged it. But Menma appeared in a yellow flash as he was already charging a Rasengan. But Orochimaru quickly reacted and turned around, but Mito already launched her tree pump kunai as Menma vanished and appear behind Orochimaru again, caught him off guard as he slammed Rasengan into his back, bursting right through the reanimation. As he pulled back his hand, as Orochimaru sent some shadow snake towards him, as his body was being reanimated, damn it, said Menma, this is going to be really hard. Meanwhile, Sakura was facing off against Obito and the demonic statue. As she knew that she couldn't fight this alone, she will die. Suddenly, the ground then break open as she covered her face from the flying debris, the rocks. As she saw Ribby landing right beside her, I am here to protect you, Ribby said. As Sakura smiled, she got the help. But who sent him? Was it Naruto that sent you? Ribby looked at her. No. As... She waited for him to say anything else, thinking that he was going to respond, but he didn't say anything, as she thought that he was going to explain. But suddenly, the ghetto statue came down with his hand, as Ribby jumped forward and wrapped around his wrist. Ribby started to absorb the chakra inside of the ghetto statue, the tail beast chakra, as the ghetto statue grabbed onto Ribby on his wrist and pulled him off, popping him into pieces. But Ribby, just illuminated with a dark chakra as it extended and reformed him back. As Sakura then jumped on top of his head, 
as she said are you ready as Ruby nodded yeah let's go meanwhile Obito was facing off against Tobirama as Tobirama was figuring out how Obito's Kamui attack work as it was really hard to fight this guy due to his attack which he can phase right through anything so the war raged on like this for hours as they kept on fighting inside of the dome so after a few hours Naruto and Sasuke was beside each other fighting Madara as Naruto managed to seal away Tobirama as Naruto got off the ground he was looking bad as Sasuke asked him if he was alright I don't care how I look we need to keep fighting said Naruto if you say so we have to keep as blood gushed from Sasuke's mouth as a wooden spear came from the ground and pierced right through him Naruto's eyes widened as he saw Sasuke's body rose up as the wooden spike came out of the ground as Sasuke gushed blood from his mouth no Naruto whispered as he turned around to see Madara smirking you know how long I wanted to do that Madara said now you know how it feel to have someone close to you die a person you call a friend Madara yelled out Sakura looked around from her battle as she froze when she saw Sasuke's body hanging from the wooden spike Sasuke she whispered in disbelief the demonic statue was about to squash Sakura as Ribby came in in time and grabbed her and moved out of there is something the matter pink hair girl asked Ribby as he saw tears coming from her no this can't happen she whispered as Ruby looked over the direction as he saw Naruto standing in front of one of his partner as he was pierced over a spike oh that isn't nice said Ruby as he slithered over to Naruto's position the demonic statue not even following them as Madara looked at Naruto this is the reason why this world must be in case in my genjutsu the world will never change death will always happen yell madara naruto started to float up as he reached sasuke's body once he made it he felt pain all over a tear leaked out of the corner of his left eye and traveled down his face a wind blade sliced at the wooden spear naruto caught the rest of sasuke's body and pulled the wooden spear out as he threw it aside as Naruto's seal that kept everyone out of the way started to flicker until it vanished into nothing why did you have to save me damn it said Naruto as he flew off with Sasuke in his arms as he landed next to the wave ninjas as all of them surrounded him and Sasuke Naruto said Kurama as she hugged him but he didn't return the hug as she saw Sasuke Kurama then released and looked down at him to the dead Uchiha are you going to be okay she asked quietly as Naruto placed Sasuke's body down and kneeled his head on the ground it's my fault I did this why you damn Uchiha why why did you have to fight at my side you should have just leave Madara to me alone it would have been me who sacrificed myself as tears started to run out of Naruto's eyes as Naruto looked up when he sent Sakura and Ribi heading towards the group the wave ninjas all backed out of the way as Sakura ran up to Sasuke's body she broke down in tears and curling Sasuke's head in her lap no this isn't the way you end as green chakra surrounded her hand as she tried to heal him where he was impaled Orochimaru and Mito arrived at the scene with Mito having Orochimaru wrapped up in her chakra chains oh no she whispered as she looked at Sasuke's body Karen stepped up to Sakura 
I kneel down next to her. She could sense that Sasuke chakra signature was gone, signaling death. Pink here, girl. Listen, he's dead. No, don't tell me that he can't be dead. Shouted Sakura as she pumped more chakra into her palms. He isn't dead, he's just hurt. She yelled out as Karin grabbed her arm and moved her away from Sasuke as Karin held on to both of her arms. As Sakura just lost hope and cried on Karin's shoulder, all Karin could was just hold her and trying her best to comfort Sakura. Kurama was rubbing Naruto back while his head was still on the ground. This is all my fault, whispered Naruto. Meanwhile, Madara has focused his eyes on Obito. Obito was on the ground, blood oozing from his mouth because of the injuries he sustained from his fight with Tobirama not too long ago. Seems like you're in a tough position, said Madara as he crossed his arms looking down at his student, ex-student to be exact. Madara, help me, said Obito with a cough. No. You are no longer needed, said Madara, as Black Zetsu then tried to cover Obito's body. Black Zetsu, what are you doing? Only following others. As Obito ran through hand signs and did one of the paths jutsus, as the king of hell came from the ground and one green light came out of his mouth and hit Madara. Madara smirked as he felt his body regained his regular body heat as his skin tone was now back to normal as he said I am finally back as his eyes then faded away he had no eyes do you have the renegon he asked black Zetsu got it right here said Zetsu as he raised his hand to show him an eyeball with the ripple pattern of the renegon how did you find that? Obito shouted out weakly. I know where you hid it. You didn't even notice my presence when I saw you hide it, said Zetsu. As Madara then smiled, as he took the eye and put it in his. Now for yearn, said Madara as he looked at Obito. Meanwhile with Naruto, Naruto raised his head. Sakura, I am sorry for her. Letting this happen to Sasuke, he said as tears were still leaking from his face. Don't go and blame yourself for what happened with Sasuke, she said. Yes, it isn't your fault, said the newly arrived Tobirama. Death happens to everyone, said Tobirama. May it be from natural causes, sickness, or this, killed by an enemy. Killed by an enemy, Naruto muttered out. As Tobirama started to talk about the life of a shinobi and all that, but Naruto wasn't listening. Enemy, kill him, said Naruto, making everyone look at him. Naruto, are you alright? asked Segetsu. Naruto looked down at his hands as he saw Sasuke's blood on them. The enemy. As Naruto started to have flashes of Sasuke, as he remembered, Sasuke first telling him that he's his best friend. Naruto, you're my best friend, friend, friend. The words echoed through his mind. My best friend just died. Naruto muttered out as he feel his whole body start to get weak. He couldn't access his yokai and blood was dripping out of his wounds. Kurama ran up to him and touched him to realize that her hand just got burned at just touching him. As Naruto looked up to see everything start to turn grey as everyone then froze as he was then in a world of white. That feeling you're having said a voice from behind him as Naruto turned to see Wicked. But guys I'm gonna be ending this episode right here if you want to see the next part of this you already know what to do. Like, subscribe, comment down below, and turn on that bell notification to be posted. And yeah, remember to share this to all of your friends on your social media platform. But I'm off for now, guys. Peace.